There are countless number of occasions where the patients need to update their glasses prescription, and in some cases, the change might throw the patient off. New glasses can make you feel disoriented, sometimes losing balance and causing headaches. It's not uncommon to feel this way. Whenever my prescription changes, I'm reminded how frustrating it can be as well. And to understand why this happens, we need to dive down further. Let's get learning. Hey yo, Antonio. The limitations to glasses adaptation is governed mostly by the difference in the images that you see through the old and new glasses. If the prescription increases, then it'll have an impact on how you see the world because of what we call spectacle magnification. Spectacle magnification will affect how the glasses change the way you perceive the world. Going stronger in the plus direction means that the image of the world the patient perceives is going to appear larger. Conversely, going more minus means that images will appear smaller. It gets worse when you have things like a change in astigmatism because not only does the size change, the direction of warp can change as well. This is a big problem because our retina works off what we call a negative feedback mechanism meaning that the neurons are temporarily burned in. You know those after images you see after seeing a bright light? That's exactly what it is. The brain is trying to dim down the area that was bright so it can oppose the change. Likewise, if there is a change in the image size or the direction of warp, then the brain will oppose that change and make you feel super duper weird. And in most cases, the warpy vision is temporary and that's why optometrists will tell you to wear the glasses for a few weeks and then see what it feels like. But there can definitely be cases where the brain doesn't react very well, in which case other alternatives like frame adjustments or adjusting the prescription might need to be considered, so don't be afraid to ask. There is no point in having glasses that you'll never use. There are also different lens materials to consider too. The image you see out of the glasses heavily rely on the curvature of the lens, meaning that using a material with a higher refractive index of 1.6, 1.67, 1.74 means that you can make the lens less curved, changing the way you see. And these are options that you get offered all the time at the optometrists, commonly known as thinning down of lenses. Let's look at this example here. You can see that there are two lenses of the same prescription but one is made up of a material called CR39, which has a refractive index of 1.5, and on this side, there is a lens with a refractive index of 1.74. On the chair, you can see the difference in the images the two lenses of the same prescription create, because contrary to high school level physics, lenses don't act the same way as a theoretical thin lens. Optics in real life is much more complicated than that. The distortion can also be caused by how the new frame sits on your face as well. There is a plethora of different dimensions that need to be considered when making a prescription, such as eye size, DBL, temple length, frontal wrap, pantoscopic tilt, fitting height, and so much more. It's not always so simple and straightforward, so many parameters need to be considered. But there you have it, why new glasses might feel super weird. I hope you learned something new or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.